I'm sorry, but if you are not Beyonce, you should not just be dropping lines and not telling nobody. You feel me? So I'm like, hmm, something has to be up. <laughs> What's up guys and thank you so much for tuning in to another video of As Always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. Now in this video we have a lot to go over so sit back, relax, and listen to this tea. Okay guys if you don't already know by this title the main choice kind of released a new line. This is called the Must Be Magic line. It's their newest line from the main choice. However, it is not officially released just yet and i have all the tea right here i'm over here chilling mind my little business and i'm scrolling through social media and i just so happen to come across the video of this product and i'm like wait a minute i done signed up for all her emails her memos her text messages whatever it was that i needed to know to get the deets first that never happened we get the tea first if you do sign up for the emails on her website and you will get early release dates promotions discounts you'll hear it all first if you sign up for the emails so i did just that so i'm like well where my email i ain't getting no email i ain't getting no voice memo no text message nothing Thing. so I'm like okay this is where I actually wind up reaching out to Courtney herself Courtney is the owner I think I'm not sure because there's a lot of tea talking about she's not I don't know but she's the face of the company and this is her new product so I reached out to her and I asked her what's going on so guys I have my phone here I'm gonna be reading off of it uh, what the main choice said I'll just insert the screenshot here but I did reach out to her because I was curious to know why hasn't there been any promotion on this new launch usually her launches are huge I'm sorry but if you are not Beyonce you should not just be dropping lines and not telling nobody you feel me so I'm like hmm something has to be up something has to be wrong because the main choice is usually really on point when it comes to their promotions and their advertising and not to mention it costs a lot of money to release a new line so i'm like why isn't she saying anything <laughs> so i go on her instagram i don't see anything about it so i finally actually wind up dming the company this is the main choice uh so i said <clears throat> I said, hi, I saw that your brand has released the Must Be Magic line. I'm curious to know why you haven't promoted the line on social media yet. I also signed up for your email updates and don't remember saying anything about a product line release. And she responded and she said, hi, as always, when it's time for a product to launch, we will share it with you. Our official launch date is coming soon. Unfortunately, stores have stocked their shelves early. So you have heard it here first. I was able to go into Sally's Beauty, purchase this line, and the main choice has not even dropped the line yet or has started promoting it yet. The launch date is coming soon, and in my opinion, Sally Beauty definitely leaked this line. So, <laughs> I know that's a lot. Let's take it all in. But yes, Courtney herself or the main choices page did confirm that the release date has not yet happened. It is coming soon. This is the new line, but let's actually go ahead and get into the tea because I I use this line and um yeah let's just talk okay so guys I am going to go in individually and talk about each of these products and I'm going to wait farther down the video to give my opinion but let's go ahead and jump right into these new products so guys you can go and pick up these products they are available at some Sally Beauties in stores according to the main choice and you can also purchase them online now however when I did go to Sally Beauties website I only saw four products she actually has five and I don't think the conditioner plus the shampoo plus conditioner is available on their website just yet but the other four are if they're not in your local Sally Beauty store okay let's go ahead and jump right into these products so we can get into the details of what actually is going on all right guys so this line you know how all of the main choices lines have some type of theme to it well this theme is the if i'm pronouncing this correctly tamarind and kakadu tamarind tamarind and kakadu plum kakadu kakadu I think it's Kakadu. I did actually wind up 
googling what the heck that meant because I had no idea so tamarind is a edible fruit that is tropical in Africa these have soap like brown pods that are sweet tangy and used for cuisines around the world so it is an edible soap like pod that comes from a tree and this is in Africa so now we know what tamarind is I also looked up kakadu plum because I had no idea what this was either and it has a couple different names to it goombage billy goat plum kakadu plum green or salty plum this is a flowering plant that is native to Australia that's the information I was able to find on these two names that I have never heard before they both do seem like they're edible and they can go in hair products as well so that's just a little bit of background story of this tamarind and kakadu plum line and it's must be magic we're gonna start with the shampoo and the conditioner this is the must be magic ta-da two-in-one shampoo plus conditioner micro suds cocktail mix here it is right here and i'll also be demoing this product later in the video so the directions for this product says to apply it to wet hair with warm water, squeeze a desired amount into the palm of your hand and massage gently root to ends break to break up and remove buildup. Micro suds will activate upon rinsing out with cool water. For best results, follow up with Must Be Magic Miracle Mud Mask. And that's what we're going to get into next. A couple of the ingredients on this line are water. I like when products start with water because that means that you can apply water to the hair to use this. I also see that there is a glycerin in here. I do see that there is some type of sulfate. And there's a perfume kind of high up at the top of the ingredients. Just a great tip for you guys, the higher the ingredient on the ingredient list means that majority of that ingredient is in the product. Does that make sense? So water is the first ingredient on this and that means that majority of this product is made of water. I do see that she has aloe vera in here, a marshmallow root extract. There's horse tail and honeysuckle as well. There's vitamin B5 and A. And then farther down the line, there is tamarind and the caca duplum. And there's nettle in here as well. And then a couple other stuff that I just can't read. So guys, it says must be magic. Continuous care treatment collection is formulated to release vitamins continually over time for hair that requires extra special attention. So again, I'll get into the details later about this product and how it worked for me. But for right now, I'm just going to go through and kind of just read what's on here and talk a little bit more about the line. So next, after you rinse out your conditioner plus shampoo, she does ask you to go in with with the must be magic miracle mud mask here it is right here guys so you know like I am all for a deep conditioner yo I am all for a deep conditioner okay so this is the miracle mud mask guys and it says presto maximum repair miracle mud mask intensely revitalizes and strengthens brittle limp hair and helps prevent split ends and farther damage from occurring add this mask to your regimen for magical rejuvenation restoration for your hair and the directions say apply a generous amount from roots to ends massage gently into hair especially the ends and distribute evenly cover with a plastic cap and sit under the dryer for 15 minutes may be left on with a plastic cap for up to an hour without heat rinse through leaves style as usual and use for one or two weeks use every one to two weeks for best results to enhance product use must be magic spike it up power drip I actually didn't purchase the power drip that's the only one that I don't have from the line so this is the miracle mud mask and I'll open it up for you guys later in the video so after you wash out your miracle mud mask you are gonna want to go in with your next product it's kind of hard to read all this stuff like you don't really know where to start this is the must be magic rapid results power collection vanish knots and tangles shake to activate correct correcting concealer spray this is a leave-in a detangle and a refresher okay guys so here is the product right here I already have used this product so this is what's left the directions do say shake to activate when you shake the product it just turns into a lighter pink so that's how it looks so it says shake me to witness the powerful dual 
phase convergence the perfect and healthy blend of rapid conditioning concealer with vitamins and flus infused correcting serums and the directions say after conditioning with our must be magic miracle mud mask spray evenly onto wet hair from root to ends and allow it to sit for one minute use wide to spread detangling brush to evenly distribute do not rinse and style as usual so this is the product right here and it is an activating spray okay so the last thing that I purchased from the Must Be Magic line is the Kazam Popping Curls H2O Ad Adjustable Holding Gel. And this is for a wash and go, a twist out, or a braid out. Okay guys, and this says to apply evenly onto wet hair to achieve the perfect wash and go, twist out, braid out, or desired style. For softer hold, continuously add water to hair when applying gel to adjust the hold. Add less water to the hair when applying gel for a firmer hold. To enhance the product, use the Must Be Magic Spike It, Spike it Power Drip, and again, I don't have that. This does have water in it as the first ingredient as well and pretty much the same ingredients overall. Now I've been holding back this whole time trying not to make any comments about what happened during my personal experience with this line. However, I do have some notes here that I will be going over with you guys and I will pretty much be talking about price, presentation, and performance during the rest of the video. So let's get into the price. Alright, so if you do go on the Sally's beauty website you will see that they are up there and you can see the prices for me i did purchase four of the five products and the total price came to 56 dollars if i would have purchased the entire line which the only thing i didn't get was the growth portion drops i think that's some type of oil buy but if you do purchase the whole line you will be paying around 72 dollars Okay, <laughs> so price, there's no pros about th the price because in my opinion, the product, the line didn't perform well. And again, I'm going to get into that later in the video. However, um, to me, it just wasn't worth the price and I'll talk about that in a second. All right, so next, so we're going in with the presentation and that's pretty much how the line was presented to me because I didn't go on the main choices website and I'll check right now to see if it is up so guys if you go on their website right now they are still just promoting their pal collection if you guys didn't see i did do a full review on the pal collection you can go check it out right here i'll also have it at the end of this video and in the link below but i really did like the pal collection so go ahead and check it out back to what we were talking about <laughs> so the main choice does not have anything on their website as of right now today is the 29th it is the end of july and there's nothing on their website as of right now about the line they're only on sally beauty and in stores as of far as as far as i know i really do like the colors on the packaging i think that it's really cohesive on all of the products and i think she's really good at making a product stand out there is a lot to read but that's okay i i can i can deal the directions are pretty easy to read and follow so i had no complaints there it has a very normal smell to me main choice is known for their smells if you guys have never purchased a main choice product before go ahead and pick up at just one of them they all smell different but they're so fruity and fragrancy i personally do really enjoy the smells because i know that what's in here is good for my hair even though some of her um products do have perfumes and other things that we're just not fans of but for the most part i do enjoy the smells and this right here smells just as good as any of her other lines yeah, this smells like Skittles, and I feel like I say that every time, but it really, it smells, it smells like you're just running through a field of flowers, like for real, for real, it smells so good. It smelled really good, and I really did enjoy the smell of the products overall. Okay, so some complaints that I had about the packaging is when your hands are wet and you're doing your hair, it is very hard to get the product out. But this is a hard plastic. For some reason, it was just really hard for me to squeeze out. I also had a malfunction problem, but we'll get to that later in the video. Just solely talking about the packaging and how the product looks 
it was a little bit hard for me to squeeze out didn't really like that that was definitely a con for me so another thing that I really did not like was the spray right here and it's just how the product is constructed I don't I, I just does anybody else get carpal tunnel when they have to spray something in their hair like 50 times it was so hard to use this product and on top of that my hands were wet so I had to use both hands to spray my hair it was a real struggle for me I couldn't even lift my hair up and spray I had to put both hands on the bottle and spray my hair it was very frustrating because I couldn't get to all the spots like I wanted to unless I would have went in and sectioned off each section of hair into smaller sections and then applied the spray and that's just doing way too much like we just did that with the mud mask I'm not doing that again with this I want to just be able to spray my hair and go and it was very difficult for me because of how the product was designed I don't recommend using these spray tips in the natural hair community because I get carpal tunnel my hands were hurting so bad from using this product so I did just start off pretty much in the shower I went ahead and just soaked half my hair with the water again I did use their shampoo plus conditioner just to cleanse my hair now how I felt about this product again I'm going to go in with the pros at first and then I'll talk about the cons but I really did like how this product smelled I think that it smelled absolutely amazing again it lit up my whole shower it smelled so good and I also like the consistency of the product it was really smooth and it had a silky feel and texture to it and it just seemed like it was a good product for my hair However, why did it take the whole bottle of this to feel like my hair was clean? Like, I am not even kidding. This is how much I have left. It's more than halfway gone. I guess because it's a shampoo plus conditioner you're going to use more but I was not a fan of how much product I had to use for this and how how much it costs compared to how much I had to use like if I'm going to buy a product I want to be able to use it all month or at least get four uses out of it and that just was not possible with this I felt like the product was I felt like my hair was eating the product every time I would apply the product to my hair I would always have to just go in and apply more coats apply more coats use more water apply more coats and it just did not feel like the product was really steeping and seeping into my hair how I wanted it to and it, it overall I just I didn't like it at all. Uh, it just didn't seep into my curls how I wanted them to and it didn't penetrate my hair and it took a long time for my hair to feel clean using this product and the worst part is it did leave my hair feeling stripped on here it actually says non stripping helps to leave hair tangle free saturates hair dry hair with essential moisture leaves hair feeling soft and tangle free adds lasting moisture and shine and gently enough for daily use none of these are true especially non-stripping this product was so stripping to my hair i actually was kind of upset when i was done using it and i did use it three or four times just because i had to use so much of the product to make sure my hands my hair was clean and then we're starting with the miracle mud mask i had so much hopes for this product guys for some pros i did like about this product was i love the consistency i love me a good thick deep conditioner this really did penetrate my curls i feel like the product did a good job seeping into my curls and giving me that extra moisture it also smelled really good and i got a good use out of it as well as far as not having to use too much and i again i just love the fact that it was that thick thick consistency it was definitely on the heavier side so just a few cons about the product and what I didn't like uh was even though it didn't melt into my hair I didn't feel like I felt like it didn't do anything for my hair especially after I washed it out like I didn't feel like my hair was hydrated I felt like my hair and you guys can see for yourselves like I did not feel like it gave me the definition I was looking for I was hoping for more moisture after I would use this product and it just didn't use it didn't do any of that however it did leave my hair feeling nice and soft and that was about it okay <laughs> So 
so I'm literally praying to God right now that this is this like this is like three strikes and you're out I didn't really like the cleansing conditioner cream I didn't like the mud mask so now we are on to this correcting concealer spray you do have to shake it in order to activate it and get the product to work I was not looking forward to using this product because my hands were already super slippery and I had to go in with both my hands to spray and I was only able to get the top layer if you do want to go in and separate your hair and spray each section go for it but I just don't feel like doing that with a leave-in conditioner I should be able to just apply it to my hair use moisture use water to work it in and that's it I shouldn't have to section it I don't even know if I was doing pros or cons with this one bro I'm so lost in the sauce with this product I do not like sprays I do not prefer a spray I like my leave-ins how I like my deep conditioners give me th something thick to slap on my head for some hold some moisture and some shine after I did apply enough of the product I think I sprayed about a hundred pumps per per side that's okay it did leave my hair detangled once I was able to rake it under the water with a comb it was easy for me to pretty much detangle my hair which I was very surprised after I detangled my hair I went back in and I applied more spray and then I just pinned it up out the way this is how I leave the shower if you guys have ever seen any of my videos you know that my hair looks more moisturized than that what is that that looks like I didn't even wash it like I don't I don't know what's going on but you can tell from the video and how my hair reacted to the products that it just did not work for me I went ahead and sprayed another layer of the leave-in spray just hoping that something would happen magically like they promised us because it must be magic and so far I ain't seen no magic so I go ahead and now I'm spraying each individual section with more spray. I put so much leave-in. And guys, it just didn't work. I'm sorry. It didn't penetrate my hair. It sat on top of my curls. And I just was not looking forward to this gel. I had a, no, I didn't even have the faith of a mustard seed that this would work. And I'm so happy I did not even have my hopes up for this product. I had a huge malfunction with this product. And I'm trying to show you guys on the screen that it, 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 um... It didn't work <laughs> like where the gel is supposed to come out at it came out on the opposite side so it, it just um it was a huge malfunction problem on top of everything else that could have went wrong during this wash and go guys this product did not define my hair at all I, I was just really shocked at how dry my hair felt after the shower I was shocked that I couldn't even get the spray to remotely seep into my curls I was shocked that I couldn't get the gel to come out out the right end the gel just it didn't really work with my hair um I don't know I, I really I really can't speak too much on this but you guys can go ahead and watch me apply this gel to my hair and just fingers crossed we will get somewhere I know that was a lot to take in after I finished my whole head with that gel I was just not looking forward to the drying process at all I knew that it wasn't going to turn out right you you just knew when I got when I put that shampoo conditioner in, I just knew that it wasn't going to turn out right but I kept my hopes until my hair dried guys this is the final result right here and I didn't even get to the worst part yet all right so I'm not sure if you guys can see 
what's going on I don't know if it's pretty obvious but we have a flakage issue but we had a serious problem my hair my hair is so dry right now I ain't do nothing wrong I follow the directions to the T at least I thought I did but unfortunately it didn't work for my hair so my final thoughts about this whole line and this whole shebang and problems is I really do honestly feel bad for the brand and the company and Courtney because there are already videos that are have surfaced on YouTube about this uh, product being leaked I'm just another one of them doing my own comments and giving my own feedback this is my own YouTube channel and I'm gonna be really honest with you guys about how products react to my hair and this is kind of hard to lie and say that I like it like you can kind of tell that it looks like a blowout and there's just no definition whatsoever and there's flakes so there was a huge problem this unfortunately uh, I do feel like the must be magic line missed the ball a little bit but again this is just my hair and my opinions this may work for you I would love for you to try it hopefully they have a free shipping 50% off sale coming soon because they haven't had one in a while um, not to my acknowledgement again I am signed up on their email list so I do get the promotions and all the good stuff before it goes out on social media Hopefully, that's what I was told. So, if I had to choose a favorite product from this line, I think I would choose the deep conditioner because it upset me the least. The deep conditioner mud mask uh, just was that thick consistency that really set the bar for me. Even though I felt like it didn't do much to my hair, I do prefer my deep conditioners to be of that thick consistency. So, out of all the products here, that was probably my favorite. My least favorite has to be this leave-in conditioner. I guess the magic is when you shake it and it becomes a different color. Ta-da! There's the magic. I, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm flabbergasted. I'm not like upset, but I, I'm just a little thrown back that this, this was a pretty penny in my opinion. Uh, for my wallet, this was a pretty penny and it just, it, it failed and it didn't work and it's not as always Aaliyah approved whatsoever. I do like a couple other hair lines. Again, I'll have all the reviews that I've done on the main choice in the description below. Some were really good, some were bad, some were hit or miss. Uh, so you guys can go check it out in my description below. But yes, the leave-in conditioner was not my favorite product at all. It was definitely that spray bottle that I was just so over in its very hard to spray your hair when your hands are soaking wet in the shower you have to have a firm grip on that and it just wasn't it wasn't something that I was looking forward to doing a hundred times on each side because it didn't take to my hair at all if I could give my honest feedback to the main choice I would just I, I, I can't I can't speak on these products but I'm gonna speak on this one if there is some type of way that there would be a button that you can press somewhere kind of like kind of like with this i can just hold this and there's an endless mount that comes out as as opposed to this like that's a lot on my finger so i would prefer something more that just sprays continuously so if, if maybe if there was something that you can hold and have it spray out like this that would be awesome if there's a button that you can click and just have a continuous spray that would be awesome i know it would use more of the product but at least your fingers would not be hurting <laughs> I don't know if I'm complaining, but I am going to give y'all the real tea, and this was just not for me. Comment below your thoughts. Let me know where you stand as far as this product actually getting pretty much leaked by Sally Beauty early. When I went to go pick up the products in store, uh, there weren't even any barcodes or pricing or anything of that nature. I just grabbed them, and then I went to go ring them up. Thank God when she rung up the barcode at the cash register, it did register through their store system. Uh, however, there was nothing even on the shelves remotely about the product. And again, the main choice has stated some of the stores did release the product a little too soon. And I'm excited to see the advertising that comes behind the product, but I just know that this did not work for my hair. I did check out some of the other reviews on this product and 
it didn't really work for their hair either so I'm excited to keep seeing reviews and to see if this works for people or if it really doesn't guys that is all for today if you like this review and all the tea please like subscribe share do what you got to do I, I I'm really happy that you guys are joining me on this this journey if this is your first time watching any of my videos my name is Aaliyah I review natural hair care products I make my own homemade hair care products and I also do reviews chit chats to tutorials and more check out these videos in the description below so you can continue watching my channel as I give my honest feedback on the main choice my name is Aaliyah this is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real I'll catch you guys in the next one deuces